Sunny on OAC, the Observer Gatos Newsbreak. Hey guys, so you're on today's sequence. I'm Papa Sun. Vlogos. A great subscribe to Observer Gatos, Simon Pilipinas. Obvious today, Ganahan Shao Oak. Kung ano sa mga, gumagawa ito ng massacre. Unsay, unsay abot sa, sa halu, unsay abot sa biktima, o unsay, o unsay siya. Mga plano o di tayo. Ang katuhanan, ang katuhanan. This will effort in gumagawa ito ng massacre. As we know, then we, there, there, any, any old cute No, no, man. He, 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 Kanihan sa reporters ng TV Patrol sa Trump with the Nile. Kanihan sa mga kuwan sa mga tayo. Trust me. Ang mga patay kikan sa bagay na masakar kuwan ng piti mga koristik. Mga katatagan na o mga hayaw o mga o o kanang atog sa atog sa iya kung sa o kung sa may tayo o kinsa kisa sa ostisya dito ba 58 people including daghan probinsya daghang suporta sa military soldiers kanahan sa aputa junior mas tayo Tinood man na ang kaibigan. Saan sa ang justice o evidence? Maura tinood kikang man tutuon. Ang ato dili pasang samata. In video file, mur na ay kinuhit. Ang sayo sayo kaniha sa matay. Magway Danao Massacre. Adaw sa Magway Danao Massacre, kaniha naka mamatay sa sa kaniha. We want to take the opportunity uh, that the anniversary is presenting. We want to highlight the case of the massacre and the fact that even after the massacre, killings continue to happen. It was the 23rd of November last year and a man named Toto Mangadadatu was doing the unthinkable in Mindanao, launching a challenge against the prevailing power. He declared he would register as a candidate for governor in the western province of Maguindanao. And here, this was a red-hot news story that excited a number of local journalists, including veteran Alejandro Bong Rablando. He is a very good man, lovable, good person, many friends. He has a lot of friends, not only here in our city, but everywhere. Bong Rablando joined a band of about 34 journalists on the new candidate's convoy to the provincial capital, where they were told candidacy papers would be filed. Only the candidate would not be along for the ride. It was too dangerous. 
He sent supporters, members of his clan, even his wife, to lodge the paperwork. He has uh, gone there many times. Not only once, twice, but many times. He knew those people very much. I'm very worried not for his job, but uh, for his life. The convoy would travel through the heartland of one of Mindanao's most powerful men, a warlord no less, a man named Andal Ampatawan. Clan supporters like these guys at any number of checkpoints in his territory call him Lolo. It was at just such a checkpoint that the November convoy was met by 100 heavily armed supporters of Lolo Ampatawan. What happened next defies imagination. What happened on this secluded hilltop was gruesome in the extreme. Witnesses say about a hundred heavily armed men, including some police, stopped the convoy and then brought the people up here. They then opened fire. Women were shot in the groin. Others were killed as they tried to flee. Some of the bodies were then dumped in these pits. When the dust cleared, everyone in the convoy was dead. Cars with their occupants still inside had been crushed into the pits. Would-be candidate Toto Mangadadatu had lost a wife, sister and aunt. With more than 30 journalists dead, this would also be the worst mass killing of reporters the world has seen. I'm a military guy and I've seen so many dead people here during encounters, but this is not really, uh, it's very hard to describe how, how awful uh, these things are. And then Difficult to believe something like that can happen in the Philippines, but it did. So it, it, uh, it well, uh, the bad thing is that it happened. The good thing is that it opened the eyes of all. Yeah, Myrna Rablando lost her husband of 35 years, father to her seven children. I told him before, just stop being journalist, but he told me that he loves very much being a journalist. So I can stop him. I really missed him so much. Very, very much. I miss him every day of my life. Actually, I considered him as the man of my life. He, he, he has always been there for me. And he is always there to guide me. And I am very dependent on him before. Of course, many more families are grieving. Bong Rablando was just one of the journalists to die in a part of the world now considered more dangerous to cover than Iraq or Afghanistan. To give those um, money and um, power. Lolo Ampatawan's influence is all around, and yet he remains a mysterious figure. He prefers to stay out of the spotlight, but we've been told he will meet us. So he's happy for us too? That may have something to do with his current plight. He's been arrested, charged with ordering the massacre, and he's being held at a military hospital. Reporter, this is the governor. Nice to meet you. How are you? We find the 70-year-old clan leader surrounded by family and friends in a sunny corner of the hospital grounds, and he's happy to let them do the talking. Is he confident that um, he can defend the charges, the serious charges? Of course, of course. Uh, definitely. Yeah. What does he think of the charges against him? Actually, it's only rumors, you know. There is no evidence. Yeah, there is no evidence to the uh, charges that they are filed in my, uh, to my grandfather. Yeah. Why would they do it? We don't know. 
We're told Lolo Ampatawan has assembled a legal army to fight the charges against him. That defence is taking shape back at the clan compound, and to get there we're told it's best to travel with armed support. Well, we're in the heart of Maguindanao province. This is the seat of power of the Ampatuans. And in fact, uh, we've been invited to the family. All Karepuan shots are always see. Hato Sasapato. Salama Supporta. Kanahan of Mebris. Searchers. Gigas. So. But it's a YouTube. The I post on Facebook. The God's son of Imo Kaipotan, Akos Air Katos, Maayogabi. Your ear, I'll tell you sequence. Dwarfa gets to subscribe to Imo Kaipotan. It clicks up, certain air katos, or give a bad, the God's son of Imo Imo Kaipotan. Kani, I'll always see the Observer Katos news break.